I'm Dave Hula. Just set the world record with Pioneer P1197 with a yield of 616 bushels. My reaction to his yields was um, it kind of floored me that we have that kind of yield potential in uh, Pioneer 1197. I thought it'd be a long time before we saw a number like David brought forth two years ago. And, and hearing David's number today, um, I was kind of astonished. I'll never doubt David's ability to grow corn again, I guess I'll put it that way. So. I just enjoy farming. And I really enjoy raising corn. And particularly when it's in a Pioneer bag. And you know, we've always had good success with Pioneer. We have good trust in the, the selections that they're providing us and we know that we're gonna have bushels at the end of the season. It's great that he's able to do it with our products. It's a testament to the breeding and the research that goes into our products, and it's a testament to the people that are involved with our product. I will call up with our Pioneer team, and then we'll sit down and we'll evaluate what hybrids fit in their area. You know, we get the weather data. Then we look at it marketing data, but also, you know, I'm looking at data to see where we are at a particular grow stage and what influence can we do on that particular corn. Every decision we make, we're kind of trying to filter out some data, and that type of information is just helping us become more profitable to push our yields up from year in to year out. It's pioneers of corn growing like David that allow us to test our hybrids at the very high end of the yield spectrum. It's exciting to work with David because he's truly a master of his craft, um, and he is so focused on every single detail to get to the, the end that he's achieved. Here we are on the north side of the banks of the James River. Captain John Smith floated his ship down this river back in 1607. So we know where we started from. Now, you know, where are we gonna go? When we open up that Pioneer bag, there's a certain yield potential that the bag has. I don't know what that yield potential is. We used to say it was 500. We know that's not the case. We know it's not 600 as we continue to get stronger genetics and then as we become better managers of that, then the future is just exciting for us. Because I know the possibilities are endless now.